Hi guys, it's Roma here. I'm just cooking today, it's a Saturday, so I'm just doing my thing, you know, relaxing. And I'm going to make some red snapper with some finji or kuku for dinner. So why don't you join me? Come along with me, let's sit and chat and just relax and cook. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. I'm going to get started. So what I have here is some red snapper. I'm going to make yam. This is our Jamaican yellow yam. And these are all my ingredients I'm going to use in my sauce and my finji. And I also have my green seasoning. And then I have my snapper. Nice red snapper, they've been clean and I have them soaking in the salt water with some lime juice. they has been soaking overnight. I'm gonna cook it whole like that, fry it, and then I'm gonna make a nice uh, sauce and put it in. And I'm gonna leave the head on. Uh, some people don't like the heads on, but uh, my family, like, we like eating the head, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> we love the head. So, so I'm going to leave the head on and that's fine. We'll eat it. So first I'm going to drain this. Okay, guys. See, I have three snapper. And I'm going to just flour them and fry them. Okay. So this is just how I cook when I'm not doing it for the show. So I just go take what I need and move around. So this should be enough. I'm just going to dust them in there. A little bit of pepper. So you can see I have everything in there. Just some black pepper in that. That's it. I'm just going to pour some oil in. And I'm just going to dry these up. Yeah, I'm just drying it up before I fry it. So I'm leaving it whole. I'm not going to cut them because I'll tell you guys, I eat a whole one. <laughs> I think we all eat a whole one. So there's three of us. We're doing three. And this is what I do when I'm frying fish. I just make sure they're nice and clean. And then I just put them in some salted um, water with lime. And uh, this was sitting in it overnight. So it should be well seasoned. And I could just steam it too. I don't have to fry it, but I think I'll fry it today. My absolute favorite is flying fish. It's a small fish, but you know what? I grew up on that. We ate a lot of that in Dominica and uh, Mahi Mahi, we call it dolphin. But those two I really like. Then I like snapper. I like lots of fish. I grew up by the sea. I mean, we would just take a line and go. The house is right there next to the ocean. I'd just throw my line in and I would catch anything, you know, all kinds of fish. I'm used to fish. I grew up on that. Um, all the sea urchins and sea crabs and lobsters and you know, sea eggs, we call it sea egg, that's the sea urchin. I used to just pick those right up the ocean and eat it straight. Just bring my lime with me, squeeze a little bit of lime on it, and uh, crack it. You pour your lime on, you eat that. That was fun. Those were the days. Okay, and let me see if my oil is ready. It feels hot. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's good. Get all three of them in there. Good. And this 
this is going to be a typical Peruvian dinner tonight for me. So I'm just going to let that fry. I want it nice and dry because once it's finished frying, I'm not going to cook it too much longer in the sauce. So I want to make sure it's well cooked. Favorite Caribbean dish. <laughs> I like them all. <laughs> I don't know if I have a favorite. Oh my gosh, that's a tough one. I think if it's Caribbean food, it's hard to have a favorite. Favorite Caribbean food? That's tough. I like them all. Curry goat, oxtail, rice and peas. Oh my gosh, you name it. While this is frying, I'm going to start making my sauce. Put some butter in there. Yeah. It's coming along. Funny thing, when I was a child, I didn't like food. My favorite food was bread with butter and pork. That's all I wanted to eat every day. With bread, butter, and pork. So food was not something I worry about, but I, we ate a lot of fresh fruits, lots I mean, Dominica, I mean, you can't go hungry. Everywhere you go, there's some kind of fruit tree. Something is always in season. This is my homemade seasoning, and I'm gonna put here my hunk in there. That's gonna give it a flavor. These two, I'm gonna take them out. And I'm gonna leave you on a little up for you because you said you didn't want it. Woo! <laughs> oh, Peter! <laughs> I'm going to cover my sauce up and let it cook. Then I'm going to make my yam. You see guys, when I'm cooking for myself, I'm not measuring everything. Oh, that's a nice piece of yam. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna put some lime on here so it doesn't come all brown. And we just put this there. That one is well done. Check this. Oh, that's looking good. Look at that. Oh, go cooking down everything. Now I'm going to start cooking my fufu. Now fufu is cornmeal. Uh, it's polenta. 
some people call it polenta, some we say cornmeal, but it's basically cooked very similar. Uh, polenta, sometimes people, they add cheese to it and we don't with this. So we put okros and season up the water and sometimes we can put coconut milk in there. Now with this cornmeal thing, I'm gonna put some okra. So we're gonna cut it up small pieces. I like to make it to eat with fish. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in there. So this is my Goya seasoning and it's got salt and pepper everything in there already. So just put a little bit of that in there. And that's it, let that boil and then, oh, let's see. Look my sauce. Oh, that sauce looking nice. Mm-hmm. So I like it. Let me just taste a little bit, see if enough season before I put my fish in. Oh yeah, that's nice color, everything. That's nice. Enough pepper from the seasoning. I'm gonna put these two in there because somebody doesn't want sauce on theirs. We will deal with it. Nice fish, man. Nice fish sauce with okra. Ooh. Oh, you look good. I think good tonight. That's for sure. Guys, I'm just going to let this just simmer a little bit in that nice gravy. And woo, when I put some of that in it, that's going to go down real good. This is what's going down tonight. <laughs> Okay, my okra boiling good. Let me see that good. I can get my cornmeal and put it aside. Oh, you know, guys, a lot of people ask me, what does sakafet mean? I always say sakafet. Sakafet is how you doing. In Dominica, when we meet somebody, we greet them, we say sakafet. It's Creole, it's Patois, it's our French Creole. And usually we say, oh, muela, muela. That mean I'm just there, oh, I'm good. My beer. So that's what Sakafet is. It's our greeting. Let me check it. I just like to look at it. Whoa, that is good stuff. Look at that. That's what we call stew fish. Stew down. I'm going to turn it up though so it can dry off some of this sauce and these yam are cooking up nice so that's good now with my okra I'm gonna put some butter in there not okra they finchy put some butter in that so just a little ready to put yeah how this okra see I want to check it if it's cooked. Two more minutes. Okay, so that's done. My fish is ready and I just have to wait now. I think my yam is cooked. I'm going to have my okra soon ready. So let me just mix up some water in that and I'm going to make it loose. Okay. So let me show you how I make my benji. So now everything's boiled. My okra is soft. And I'm just gonna pour that in. Just whisk it around. That's gonna cook, it doesn't take long. That's a real Dominican dish. My mom used to make this and she would put codfish in it. And that was nice when I was growing up. I'm gonna just let it boil. I'm gonna cover it a bit because it's gonna be all over the place. And what I'm gonna do is get a pan and then I'm gonna put it in the pan to cool so I can cut it. And I love making Caribbean stuff on the weekends, so it's good. 
-hmm. That's nice. So what I'm doing, I'm just going to put it in here and let it set so I can slice it. So that's it. I'm gonna leave that and it's gonna set and foam up. And then we can just cut right into it. So my dinner is finished. Still early. So I'm gonna have some. I might have some more later. The fufu or cornmeal, polenta, whatever we call it it turned out pretty good look at that so once this is set you just cut it into squares and then i have my yellow yam that yam is so dry look at that it's so dry mm. and the fish i thought i was going to eat the whole one can't handle it it's too much i'm still full from lunch but this is good Thanks guys for hanging out with me today and just watching me cook my dinner. It tastes really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is my Saturday afternoon. Nice glass of wine. And I'm just here, you know, nobody can come over. So, can't have people over, but I'm looking forward to the days when we can get together again and I can have my friends come and cook together with me. That'll be nice. I hope you guys are having a good weekend too. And in the meantime, we do what we have to do to survive. Stay safe, everybody. You don't want to catch that thing. Cook your food at home. <laughs> My daughter is laughing. She thinks I talk too much. <clears throat> That's okay. Why not? I'm not always going to have this mouth. <laughs> Let me know if you like this episode. It's something different. I just being casual, being myself, more relaxed at home. Leave a comment. Let me know how you like it. And let me know what you want to see. Boy, I tell you, this yam is good. If you like my content, please subscribe. And thank you guys, all the ones who have already subscribed. I really appreciate it. Thanks for your support. And don't forget to hit that little like thing if you like the video. YouTube looks at that too. So that's good for, for me so I can, you know, keep bringing you these uh, episodes. Also, my other fellow YouTubers, a lot of you have been following and giving me positive feedback. I really appreciate that. It's good, we stick together. Shout out to Emily, EC Emily. Love your show. Emily, keep eating the doubles. You look so good doing it. <laughs> and all the others. I'm um, Lynn. She's, you've been watching from the beginning. Thanks, Lynn. <laughs> I love your show as well. Sandy. All the others. So many, I can't even think of it now, you know, of, of all the names right now. But you know who you are. Marved Foods. Yeah, he's a really nice young man. I've been watching his show. You're doing a great job. Guys, keep up the good work. Oh, look at that okra. That is so good. Mm. I love okras. Bon appetit. I'll go eat now. Enjoy your dinner too, guys. Till next time. God bless. Stay safe and all the best to each and every one of you out there. Love you guys.